Good evening. A Perth father has come close to losing his hand and his livelihood after he stepped in to stop hoons outside his home. The 44-year-old's lower arm was almost hacked off with a samurai sword after he tried to stop a dirt bike rider terrorising his street. The man's family says he was simply fed up. It took surgeons seven hours to reattach Malcolm Waters' right hand after he was allegedly attacked by a hoon with a samurai sword outside his Midland home. Cut through, clean through one bone and shattered the other one. And he's got stitches down here and going right around his wrist. Um, his tendon damage, ligament damage, uh, they had to stitch veins back together. The 44-year-old spray painter now unable to work after confronting a dirt bike rider who his family says has been terrorising the neighbourhood. My brother seen him go past and yelled some obscenities to him about slowing down and um, him and his few mates come back up the road with beer bottles and a samurai sword and pretty much attacked him. Assaulted in front of children and bleeding heavily, Mr Waters ran 150 metres up Ferguson Street before receiving help. My cousin got knocked out, totally knocked out first, with a beer bottle from behind, and then my brothers got hit with the samurai sword. Locals say hoons regularly ride unregistered dirt bikes around nearby parks and footpaths, and they want more done to crack down on the illegal practice. I was walking the dog the other day there and this guy came round the corner on a motorbike on the pavement, nearly knocked me over. I think there should be more police around. The local council says residents have complained before, but it didn't receive any on the day of the attack. Malcolm Waters will need months of rehabilitation, but doctors are hopeful he will regain use of his right hand. Today, the first positive signs for the 44-year-old, able to slightly move his fingers. There's only millimetre each way, but it's, it's movement, which is, the, which is what they want. So um, a lot of, long, lot of rehab and a long, long time to heal, but they reckon it should heal. So far, no-one's been arrested. Nathan Brooks, Nine News.